Alright folks, how are we getting on? My name is Jack Brown and today I was joined by Max Baird from Maximum Customs to talk about all things shoes and fashion. If you want to see more content like this, please check out my media page which is Jack Brown Media on Facebook as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel. So I'm going to get straight into the interview and I hope you enjoy it. Hi there folks, today I'm joined by the owner of Maximum Customs, Max Baird. Alright Max, how are you getting on? All good mate, thanks. All good, yourself? I'm really good, thank you. So stuff, let's just stuff. dive straight into it. What made you actually start up this shoe cleaning business? Yeah, sure. Um, so going back a few years now, it came along one Sunday. I had my own cleaning kit and me and my dad were just kind of cleaning some of our own trainers. And then we posted, well, I had posted the before and after pictures onto my personal Instagram story. I think it was a pair of Adidas Munchens that we had cleaned at the time. Cleaned them up, posted the before and afters. 15, 20 minutes had gone by um, and I had three replies to the story saying, uh, look, Max, I've got the same uh, pair of trainers that could be doing uh, with a freshen up. Um, and then the other two people were just looking to to bring bring me down trainers to get cleaned. Yeah. Um, so at that point, it was really just doing doing kind of some friends a favour to clean their shoes up, give them it back. Hopefully they'd be happy with how the job they were uh, done at the time. Obviously not running off any business. It was purely just, just doing them a favour at the time. And as obviously they had then posted before and after pictures thanking me, it just kind of grew arms and legs. And then I just had all sorts of kind of people messaging us, asking us to drop, uh, drop down five, six pair of shoes off. And, and all sorts of things like that. So, yeah, it really did kind of explode at the time, for sure. So, going on to what you just said at the end there, it's quite frankly exploded. So, did you ever expect it to blow up the way it has? Uh, good question. I wouldn't have said so at the beginning. But once, obviously, that I'd seen the reception that friends, some of the friends that had posted the before and after pictures, the kind of feedback they were giving me, um, and then the response to, to then them posting that, the kind of folk that they were getting to speak to us about bringing in shoes, it, it really was just a kind of pure domino effect. It would get shoes in, uh, people would post before and after pictures, and then we'd get more business from it. And it just kind of kept kept going on like that. So I, I, I wouldn't have said so at the time, but looking at it now, with the kind of good work that we were doing, I, I can now see... Um, as to why, um, as to why we've been so busy for sure. Yeah, so it's not just your friends that you're doing it for. You've definitely had some big clients. Who would you say some of your favourite big names that you've had come into the the shoe cleaning? Yeah, for sure we have had uh, quite a few footballers. Um, for example, David Turnbull's been down um, a number of times with James Scott, David Moyo, Nathan McGinley, Jake Carroll. Uh, Christopher Long, um, Liam Grimshaw, we had a quite quite a number of folk. Um, my good friend Stuart McKinstry as well. Now he's been with us a few times. So yeah, no, for sure there has been a lot of a lot of big names. Uh, definitely, yeah. So going on about these big names, how important was the support from the likes of David Turnbull and J- James Scott and stuff in progressing the business? So them shouting you out that. That kind of support that they're providing. How would you say it's pushed you on? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, I mean, a lot of these big names, obviously, the the favour and returning even a simple comment or a uh, post um, or story. It obviously, in turn, it gets you a lot of kind of likes, new followings, which is exactly what we're looking for. But not 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 only that. I mean, ev- everyone um, who normally comes to us. Um, at one point, has always thanked us, whether that being a, a comment or on the story are passing on um, passing on business it all means uh, it all, all means so much do you know what I mean um, so yeah we are always really appreciative um, of everyone who's coming in whether it been once or if they're in every couple of weeks um, it's always good to see good to stay as humble as that so going on to the business say in a, a year or so time what is your aspirations how big do you see or what this, this shoe cleaning service you provide to get yeah, um, as I say, uh, really just looking to keep growing at the moment, trying to get as much business um, from different postcodes as possible. I really do think that that is, that is the, the main plan, just to continue growing at the moment. Um, and I think we're going in the right direction at the moment. Definitely, definitely. So over the years, you've done many, many cleans. 
Is there any that you look at and think, yeah, that's one that I'm I'm really proud of. That's one that I look at and think, yeah, that's that's absolutely perfect. I've done a good job there. Uh, yeah, another good question. Uh, that's, that's a really good question, actually. Um, there is obviously a lot of um, a lot of the kind of Prada shoes that always always seem to get a really um, good turnaround once they've been in our hands. Really enjoy doing the ones, um, the Dior's as well. Um, with a lot of Adidas originals, Gucci's as well. And um, we actually had one pair of Gucci's that had, uh, I think, the dog had taken a bit off at one point. Uh, one of our customers had said we managed to get them repaired. It was more than just a clean; it was a kind of full leather replacement, and it was it, it was a really really good job at the time. And we even seen that uh, kind of afterwards, the upkeep, everything had kind of um, stayed as it should. Um, so just proving that everything that's been using has been going to good work. So I definitely say the pair of Gucci's that we'd worked on at the time um, were up there with one of the best. Yeah. Um, so I seen recently you've just cleaned up a little pair of the Louis Vuitton heels, as well as you've done. Um, a pair of football boots as well. You've you've restored a pair of um, Temple Premiers. So, when you're cleaning about like different shoes or different kind of products rather than just your mainstream designer trainers, do you ever get nervous about it or a bit worried? I'll, I'll be honest with you, no. Um, just because the kind of confidence that we've got in our products now, we're obviously fully confident of everything that we're using. Uh, time and time again, we have been using um, kind of new and improved um, solutions for cleaning, which obviously, seen that you, as you'll probably see from the after pictures on um, our Instagram, um, everything is looking the part. But I, I can can obviously see where you're coming from, but we, we do believe with everything that we've got, kind of solutions wise, um, that we will prove uh, to get the best results from. Of course, mate. I mean, if you've done it, if you've done and got good results, I don't see why you wouldn't be. So I'm going to talk a bit about you now. You worked at Avossi Clothing for a little bit. How was that for you? And would you say it has affected how you went on to run Maximum Customs yourself? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, at the time, um, I was working um, Saturdays in, in the Avossi shop. I absolutely loved it. In fact, I would going to say that's probably been um, my favourite job working in retail it was, it was so enjoyable um, Fraser and Arne were absolutely uh, brilliant with us um, they still are to this day so yeah I, I would say any any piece of advice or any confidence that I was getting to to go on and do my own thing definitely inspired me um, the boys were absolutely brilliant with us um, in the shop itself it was it was a great place to work so yeah I did think that that gave me the motivation to go on um, and start my own business definitely so obviously I've always said it's one of the, the huge 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 fashion fashion uh, brands to come out of Lanarkshire of recent so because of stuff like that and obviously that's always a big part of the Mallow fashion scene is fashion something you've always been interested in yeah, definitely. I would say from a very young age, um, it has been uh, something that I have always, yeah, been interested in for sure. Even uh, kind of looking at younger, uh, my younger self, where I look at the kind of baby photos. Um, fun enough, me and my mum and dad the other day, um, we spotted a few Burberry shirts and Lacoste bows um, and Adidas original shoes. So it was it was pretty funny to see um, just at how young a young age this kind of all came about so definitely yeah for sure would you say it's something that your family's kind of embedded in you is the, your family quite into their, into their clothes into their shoes stuff like that yes def- definitely yeah I would say uh, me mum my dad definitely I would say so obviously my dad taking his kind of down the line um, of the more kind of Adidas Stone Island CP company route when I was a little bit younger so yeah definitely and you said you're a little bit younger, you were into the, the Stone Islands, the CPs, stuff like that. How would you say your style has changed over the years? Yeah, um, good question. I would say um, since working with um, Avosi when I was kind of say 13, 14, it was kind of all the kind of black gear that we would be wearing at the time. Um, so I would normally find myself now looking into my wardrobe, black hoodies, black t-shirts, and black jeans and cargos. So I would say it's went more kind of dark um, as the years have went on, definitely. All right, yeah. So you said 
how your old style and how you've went into going into your new your new kind of stuff. You've got your the more black gear because obviously the boss has got that kind of sleek look, the kind of modern identity to it. What's your goal definitely to at the moment? Say you're going out. What would you say? What would you say your go to is? Definitely say the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffles are my go to uh, trainers at the moment. I really like um, brand at the moment, Arden, it's called. It's absolutely, in fact, I would probably say that that is my favourite brand at the moment. Very diverse, very simplistic. And I, I, I do find myself um, wearing a lot of that at the moment, kind of relaxed pair of jeans. Um, and I would, I've got a, a, kind of got a new couple of new hoodies at the moment that I've found myself going to. So I'd probably go for a kind of hoodie, hoodie jeans um, and uh, vapour waffles. Um, at the moment, I think that's my kind of go to. Yeah, I've got I've got a pair of them as well. I've got them in the Sesame Callaway, and oh, they're, they're brilliant in there. Yeah, say, no, they're lovely. It's, it's definitely such a unique shoe. It's obviously the idea of multiple shoes getting put together and created yep. into one. But it's just amazing how they've done it. Yeah, 100%, definitely. Right, Dream World, right? You've got all the money in the world, is much like unlimited amount, but you can spend it on one pair of shoes. What pair of shoes are you picking up? Grail wise, that's a, a good question. If you'd asked me a few years ago, I would have said the Nike um, Omega Flames, the original ones. Yeah. Um, always a personal favourite. Did you? Um, from a very to, young age. Yeah, did you manage to get the re release? I managed to get two pairs of the re uh, re release. Um, I knew as soon as I'd seen um, the preview on, Sky, uh, on size, sorry. Um, that I had to get up here. Well, that was on to the end of the interview. Um, here's a wee time for you to get yourself plug. Um, what's your Instagram? Where can people find you? Yeah, sure. It's at Maximum Customs. Um, so you can find us on there. Um, we do have a work mobile and um, obviously direct message as well. Um, so any shoe clean related, um, please get in touch. We are also stocking um, shoe trees, laces, and travel bags as well. Um, so please get in touch if you are interested at all, and we'll make sure to look after you. That is absolutely perfect. All right. Thanks very much for tuning in, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you, Max. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. And that is all for us. Hopefully, tune in the next episode. Thanks again. Cheers. <laughs>